Hey folks, today we're looking at the $29 Vice smartwatch and it's got fitness tracking as well. So let's get right into it. In the box, it comes with a proprietary charger. However, that's quite fast. It charges from zero to 100 in only two hours. So if you see on the back of the watch, it's got a couple of sensors, one for heart rate, another for oximeter. Yes, you heard that right. $29 watch with the oximeter and heart rate monitor also a 47 millimeter watch face. Not only that, Wise claims a nine day battery life for this watch. However, in our test, it only lasted five to six days depending on your heart rate monitor settings. Lastly, it's got an IP67 rating. The watch can be dropped in a body of water for one meter for half an hour, but you can't swim with it. Overall, I found the watch to be quite comfortable to even sleep with since it does have sleep tracking and a decent enough alarm. The connectivity of this watch to the phone is amazing. Any notification that you get on the phone, be it Messenger, WhatsApp, Clubhouse or email, you will get it on your watch as well. So WISE do a lot of other smart gadgets as well like bulbs, plugs and cameras and you can control all of these products from the watch itself. So for instance, I've got the WISE Cam V2 and I can trigger that to go on with the notifications as well as motion detection from the watch itself. There is another cool feature on this watch that helps locate your phone. However, it doesn't work if your app is closed on the phone. Hopefully there's a fix for this that Vice comes out in the next firmware update. The fitness tracking accuracy isn't the best on this watch, but when compared to Fitbit, it wasn't too far off. I found the data display that you see on the app much neater and much clearer than compared to a Fitbit. Exercise tracking options are a bit limited when compared to other watches, but for basic use, it's not too bad. If you're looking for something more accurate, there are loads of options, look elsewhere. Heart rate monitoring isn't a constant on this watch. You can choose between manual or a five minute readout. So every five minute, it would take a readout. However, doing so will drop the battery life by a day from six days to five days. This watch doesn't have a always on display feature like your Apple watch. However, the race to wake is quite efficient and you can schedule it as well. While you can answer phone calls on this watch, so for instance, it doesn't have a microphone or a speaker to do that, you can always reject phone calls. Not too much customization is available when it comes to watch faces. However, you can pick any image on your phone as the backdrop of your watch and it holds three themes at once. Overall, I'm really happy with the watch. It's like an Apple watch in shape and size, but bigger and brighter. It sends all notifications to me unless I push do not disturb, which is an awesome feature to have as well. It offers some fitness tracking to keep an eye out if you're getting lazy or not. And it also pairs with your Apple health ecosystem. It does all the jobs of a good watch very well, which is keeping accurate time, countdown options, and a good alarm. All that for $29 is a no brainer if you're looking for a cheap smartwatch. If accuracy is what you're after regarding fitness tracking, then Garmin Phoenix or Apple Watch is the way to go. Thanks for watching again and you know what to do next. Peace.